If you've been using the blog feature, either for class or for um, school, on the old Sclanta sites, it's very easy to recreate that on the new SharePoint site. You want to go to office.com just by typing in office.com. Once you're there, you'll be on this landing page, you'll see some of your documents, but where you want to go is over on the left right here, your list of applications will be displayed. You are interested in the SharePoint one. If it does not display here, click on the waffle on the top left. You will see more of a list right here. If it still does not display, click on all apps. I see mine here. I'm going to click on mine. Clicking on that will bring you to the landing page of your SharePoint site. This is where all of your sites that you are associated with will be displayed. Some of them you will have created and others what it does is any team that gets created and you are a member of, it will display a SharePoint site in the background and you can access um, SharePoint sites um, from the SharePoint app. You will want to create a new one. So you're going to create a new site and you're going to create a communication site. Create a blank one, name it, and finish. Now what this will do is this will literally give you a blank page. On this blank page what I want to do is I, I want to create a home page or a landing page where all of my blog posts or news items which are actually they're called now are going to be housed from. So basically I'm just going to create a header and then a little bit of an explanation on this page itself. So I'm going to go new page. I want it to be a visual one and I'm going to say create page. Now what this does is this inserts a template of already created web parts within that page right there. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this one and maybe this one and then delete the rest. So to customize it now, um, I can customize these by clicking on the little edit icon beside each of those different web parts. So I want to edit this whole header section here, so I'm going to click edit. And now that will display a number of different options that I can do within this header space. I can keep it as a color block, change it to plain, have my image and my title, or do an overlap. And this is 100% personal preference. I personally like the image and the title. That's very reminiscent of our old blog style post. I'm going to add my name of my post here, or sorry, my title page here. And I can even change the picture in the background by clicking on the edit image button. Here you're provided with some different opportunities. Um, stock images, those are the ones that come from SharePoint itself. Web search opens up Bing web search and any pictures that you see here by default will be Creative Commons or copyright free. I can upload from my OneDrive, find from a different site, upload from my device itself or insert a link from um, one of the image programs. So I actually have my blog, my Tech Untangled blog post here that I am going to um, load from here. I select it and then I'm going to add it. Now you can see I have this little option to drag to set the focal point. What this does is this will move my image up or down depending on where I want this to be seen. If I click away and it's not there anymore, there it is again. I can move it so that I can put it exactly where I want it to be. Once I'm done right there, I just click away, exit out of that sidebar, and I'm ready to go. Now I know we're right off the bat, I'm not going to need this web part right here, or this section. So what I can do is I can click on each of these sections and I can actually delete the whole section. So now all I'm left with is just my text and a little picture right here. And I'm going to do a little bit of an explanation here about what this tech is about this blog is about and put my little tech untangled image here. Once so I've done that, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to publish the page. Now my page has been saved. You can see that it's, it auto saves and if I don't want to publish it right off the bat, I can just save it as a draft. But at this point I am actually ready to publish it. 
I want to add this as a navigation, like a, to my top header there, so that it's easy to find. And then I'm just going to exit out of here. So now here is my landing page for my blog posting. The next thing I'm actually going to do is I'm going to create a space within this page that I can add my individual blog posts or in SharePoint they're actually called news items. So in order for me to do that I'm going to click on this edit button over here and this now will allow me to add more things to here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a new section and once I do that I have some options of what that section might look like. I want to add a one column section um, news item all the way across. So now I have a space that's set aside for me to add my new section. So I'm going to, within this section, I'm going to add a web part called news. And here it is right here. Now again, what's really nice about this is if I want to rearrange how people see those news items lined up, I can actually go and edit the web part and I can choose how I want those news posts to be displayed. Now if I'm going to be doing one once a week or even a daily one, I want my most recent one to maybe be highlighted. So I'm going to choose the top story one and what that does is that will highlight the most recent one and then the other ones will be listed over on the side. I'm going to save this now and publish it because what's nice about this is I don't have to be in and in any editing mode in order for me to add my news. And when I add my news, it's the process of adding the page is almost exactly the same. So if I click add news, my different options, and maybe this is the time now where you just want to keep it very plain because this might just be the date or it might be for me, for my tech stuff, I usually do um, the topic itself. I might do a little blurb about introducing what Dictate is. So there's usually, I do a little bit of blurb. Here I can change my image. And I might do a little bit of a crop right here just so that I can get my image a little bit bigger. And then now I do the exact same procedure with down below here. I can do a little bit more of an explanation. If I want to keep this picture, I can. If I don't, I can delete the whole picture or I can actually edit the web part itself so that maybe I want to do it so that it's two columns and maybe I want, you know, a light green in the background just to split it up a little bit. This is a kind of cool feature. I think I explained it in the last video how you can um, insert uh, an image and then a link and a title around here. So these might be videos that I would put maybe describing what Dictate is. And maybe I don't want this bottom section here anymore, so I'm just going to delete it. Once I'm done, I'm going to post the news. Now what's nice about here is yes, it does display it as a whole um, page right here, but if I go back to my Hagee's blog post, there's where my news item is right here. If I added a second one to this, you can see how now it rearranges itself. This is my highlighted one and then my other ones will be displayed on the right over here. And, and literally you keep clicking on this add button and you can keep adding your, your news items.